Hey everybody, it's George Wooden again from BWO Unlimited Charity Fundraising, a North American charity fundraising leader in a one-stop shop setting. Check out our website. Come on, everybody with me. www.bwunlimited.com bwunlimited.com Check it out. That's right. Tomorrow starts the NFL. My Ravens, baby. Ravens purple and black. They're going to play tomorrow. They're playing the Bengals. Can't wait. Can't wait. But this week, we got a crazy busy week. We're getting ready to head out to Travis County, Texas, to Austin. We're going to have a good time for the 2017 Brothers in Blue Bash, Texas. Can't wait. Okay, so since the NFL is starting this week, um, I, I thought I would do a, a real quick video blog on something that's kind of a controversial issue because not a lot of you guys out there understand this. And uh, I'm mainly doing this to protect you. Okay, this is really about protecting you. Because the reality of it is, all right, get ready. I'm going to tell you a secret. Shh. Shh. This is between you and I, okay? Just me and you. Me and you. There are thieves in the charity fundraising world. There are counterfeiters in the charity fundraising world. Shh. Shh. It's a secret. Just us. Don't tell anybody. Here's what I'm going to do. Since it's just me and you talking here, I'm going to teach you. You're my hey, you're my fan, right? You and I, me and you. Your father and my father were both fathers, right? That's right. So I'm going to teach you how to understand the reality of uh, of autographs. Now, I hope hopefully there's some auctioneers out there listening. If you're an auctioneer, post down the bottom somewhere that you that you saw this, because I'm hoping to educate you. Like me and my good friend Renee Jones. Renee Jones, put your hand up in the air, wave it like you just don't care. Um, we talk about authentic, spotting um, counterfeit authentication all the time. Okay, so so the reality of it is is this: you really don't know. You really because the signature is the signature, the signature is the signature, but but. Here's what you here's what you do. You go and you if you get an autographed item, auctioneers. If you go to an event and they say, "Hey, uh, Mr. Auctioneer, Mrs. Auction, Miss Auctioneer, can you autograph this thing?" The first thing you if you just want to do it, you don't care, you know, whatever. Have at it. However, you're going to sound very educated if you say to them, "Does it have a certificate of authenticity?" They're going to hopefully they'll say yes. Okay, so um, if it has a certificate of authenticity, you know, we've talked about this before. Look, how do you tell if something's really authentic? You really, you can look at the autograph, you could say, wow, 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 that looks like a really, really cool autograph. Wow, that's Johnny Shits and Eggles autograph. He's the best. Wow, cool autograph, okay? But you don't know if he signed it. Really, you don't. What you do, okay, here's the secret. What you do is this. You see who the authenticator is. So the certificate of authenticity. Now, and you have to understand this. Here's the big secret. If the autograph's counterfeit, probably the certificate of authenticity is counterfeit too. Oh my God, does it blow your mind? All right, but in the memorabilia world, and it took me a long time to understand this, to get this part, because, man, I was in a... Look, I got sucked in big time into all that crazy stuff, into the KSI movie posters that you see, and the uh, drum heads, and the sign guitar. I got sucked into all... And the guitars. I got sucked into all that when I first started. I was like, holy moly, I can... I can get a Bruce Springsteen E Street Band signed guitar and the Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd, Dallas Presley, and Jesus Christ himself signed an Fender Caster guitar, guitar or whatever. Yeah, I got sucked in. So I was like, oh, so cool, right? Just like you, right? It's just like you. Admit it. All right, but here's what I learned. Not about the guitar. It's not about the autograph. The autograph looks real, because anybody can make an autograph look real. 
because good Lord knows they make a dollar bill look real, hundred dollar bill look real. What do you, how hard do you think it is to make an autograph look real? And do you really know? Let me ask you. If somebody says Johnny shits and will sign the auto sign the autograph, do you really know? Come on, tell yourself. No, you don't. Okay. And you know that some of the people say, well, George, it came with a certificate of authenticity. That doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? Okay. But what matters is is this. Who? Ready? Write it down. You ready? Turn a page. Write it down. Number one. Who the authenticator is. Who is the authenticator? All right. Now, in the memorabilia world, it took me a long time to get this. In the memorabilia world, there are several companies that you know are putting out real stuff. One, Steiner, Sports Memorabilia, um, they're, they're, those those companies like that, they can... And then a lot of players are actually authenticating their own things. Like, I'm getting ready to send a Nolan Ryan thing out to out to Texas, right? It's literally sitting in boxes in my warehouse. Um, and he authentic authenticates his own stuff. Troy Palomalu, a lot of them do it, okay? So, they come with their own certificate of authenticity. Now, here's the key. Who the authenticator is? There are only two, outside of those... There are only two, 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 T-W-U, two authentic authenticators. Authentic authenticators. Those are, oh, handy dandy. Those are, and you're, I know you're going to see it backwards because it's the way it's filming. J-S-A, J-S-A. Now, see that thing at the top? It says W-P. It's backwards. It's W-P. That means witnessed in person. That means the authenticator was there, watched the person signing it, okay? Then there is PSA DNA, PSA DNA, JSA, PSA DNA. Now, most of you guys out there are thinking that these are the certificates of authenticity. No, no. It's actually, there's a little sticker on the back of everything that's really the certificate of authenticity. This is just a supporting documentation. But they come with numbers. Like this one has a number on it. See the number? That one's got the number. They both have numbers. That is goes to the sticker that is on the item. Now, BW Limited Charity Fundraising. BW Limited Charity Fundraising. We only believe in items that are authenticated by authentic authenticators. Okay? Okay, I say... PSA DNA. Now, we take it a step further. So we only accept these. We take it a step further. A lot of, most of our autographed items come with a picture of the person actually signing the item. That's Tony Dorsett of the Dallas Cowboys, Pitt Panthers. Tony Dorsett actually signing helmets. Look at that. Does it get any more authenticated than that? And that's not Photoshop. Okay, so the reality of it is, is this. So a while ago, I put so much pressure on two companies that were putting out some ridiculous items that you guys were getting sucked into because you thought that they were so cool. You were getting sucked into cast sign movie posters. Give me a break. Cast sign movie posters, like Star Wars movie posters. Cast sign Star Wars movie posters. Fake. All fake. We're, you're lucky if you get one person signing it. Two, maybe. But not the whole damn cast. No. No. Doesn't happen. I sooner will grow my eyebrows down to my feet in the next two seconds while you're watching me. Or a unicorn horn right out of my head than to find a true cast line movie poster. Or a Rolling Stones signed guitar. Let's, let's think about this for a minute. Shall we? Do you think, for a minute, that the Rolling Stones are going to all be in the same place at the same time, and and you'll never run out of inventory? I had to wait eight months to get Pete Rose autographed baseballs. Eight months, because I ran out. Pete Rose. How many autographed guitars can you get? KSI movie posters. You guys are getting sucked in by some of the craziest crap. Look who the authenticator is. Now. If it's a company that is not JSA or PSA DNA, 
you really want to try something? Go online and see if any other company other than these two companies carry the exact same thing. Because I can guarantee you, it, let me, let's say Pete Rose signed baseballs. If you, I challenge you, once you get done watching my goofy ass, go online and run Pete Rose signed baseballs. I bet you you'll find 90,000 of them all over the country. So, authentication. Don't be sucked in. Anybody can cre you create a fake counterfeit company. Okay? JSA, PSA DNA. George, look, ready? And if, uh, hey, if you guys who are um, who I'm talking about are watching me, George, let me spell it for you. Wooden. W -O wooden. W-O-O-D-E-N. Call me. 443-206-6121. You're a counterfeiter. You know you are. Okay? That's how. So that's how you try. That's how you test it. See who the authenticators is. See if they're if they're real because they're now these counterfeiters are counterfeiting authentication companies. They're making fake authentication companies and paying some schlub to authenticate it. Remember, I said it. Remember me. Remember, I said it. They are counterfeit items. Autographed guitars by the whole band. Wrong. Fake. Autographed cast line movie posters. Fake. Um, drum heads. Fake. Drum heads. Autographed drum heads. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, here's a new one. This is a great one. The legends, all the Hall of Famers are the legends of every team. On one helmet. Do you know how expensive that would be? Because I'll show you one. I have one. A real one. Crazy expensive. Doesn't exist. Okay? Just letting you know. Um, so that's today's lesson. Authentic. Authentication. How can you check? How can you make sure you're not getting burned? Make sure you your item has an auth authentic. It is a authentic. Has been authenticated by a real authenticity company. Authentication company. Because guess what? Wouldn't you sure as hell be embarrassed if... Johnny Schitzenegel buys that, where somebody buys that Johnny Schitzenegel item, and the he takes it to authenticator, and the authenticator says, "I'm sorry, Johnny, this is this is fake." Guess where he's going to come back to? You, the charity. So today, protect yourself. Real authentication stuff. Ready? Real authentication company. That's me. I'm George from BW Limited Charity Fundraising. Your charity fundraising one-stop shop in a community setting. Check out our website. Go Ravens. Ravens www.bwunlimited.com. Check us out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.